Welcome. Welcome to Glastonbury 2017. It's the first day, it's Wednesday. We arrived this morning. We got here around about 7.15. We queued for four hours and managed to get inside at just after 11 o'clock. It's been 30 plus today, so it's been quite warm. There has been a nice breeze, but it's been a beautiful day. Really amazing, so glad that we managed to get here. We got tickets on the resale. And as you can probably see, we're heading up the Ribbon Tower for a look. So there's the pyramid stage directly in the centre there. And there's a small clump of trees and we're camped right next to those. Quite busy. It's been a beautiful day, it really has. And there's the Glastonbury sign on the hill. So it's around about 8 o'clock now, so the sun's on its way down. There's the park. Welcome back to Glastonbury, it's now day two, the Thursday, and we're having a relaxing day today. Thankfully it's not as warm, a little bit cloudy, but that's fine. It's around about 18 degrees, I do believe, but we're just having a wander through the green fields and the healing fields. So we've just come back to the tent for a little while um, just to change clothes and stuff like that but if you've not been before this is pretty much how it is um, walkways form between tents and I'm trying to pitch quite closely to the one next to us so we can get a walkway forming there but there's a small bit of grass just there and it wouldn't surprise me it's now Thursday more people will arrive on Friday but it wouldn't surprise me if someone tried to pitch a small tent just here but it's all in the name of fun. It's quite a long guy rope, so. The trusty old Van Gogh Amiga 450. It's around about 12 years old now. Um, last used in Glen Nevis in Scotland in April last year. So luckily we got here early because there's now other tents pitched on top of ours. That's all good. Let's 
Smiths. We want a new government and we want a new Prime Minister. And that's Jeremy Corbyn. Change is coming. just finished at Williams Green. We saw the Smythes first, which are a tribute, tribute band to the Smiths, and the Showhawk duo, which we saw on the bandstand uh, the last few times we've been, uh, and they were amazing. So we're just wandering around, cooling down now. My voice sounds croaky. That's my voice sounds croaky. We've been singing. Singing our lungs out for the past two hours. <laughs> the amazing thing about Glastonbury, so many little stages hidden around the place and each time you come you found, find new ones that you've not discovered in the past. There's just so many things to do, so many things to see. Welcome back. So we've come to Cinemageddon, which is like in the... Cinemageddon. 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 Um, Johnny Depp's going to be here introducing his film The Libertine, so you have to pay £20 to reserve headphones, which is refundable at the end. But how cool is this?
a dick to you, just say hello. No, just say dick to you. Jesus Christ. Hey, Mark! No pushing, no pushing, no pushing. We're going to do this slowly. Thank you. Welcome back. So it's now the Friday, day three of Glastonbury. I'm walking in front of the pyramid, just doing the morning routine, collected some water to make breakfast. I'm gonna buy milk for Lisa. And uh, then we're gonna commence the day. So last night was pretty good. Um, pretty interesting to see Johnny Depp. And I tweeted a 13 second clip last night. Uh, <laughs> you, will, you will have seen the full video. It was the moment I almost shook the hand of Captain Jack Sparrow. So I've been saying that to Lisa for the majority of the day, to be honest, yesterday, that that was the one thing I wanted him to say uh, as he was leaving, is the line from Pirates of the Caribbean, you'll forever remember this as the day you almost shook the hand of Captain Jack Sparrow, or caught Captain Jack Sparrow. You will always remember this as the day that you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. So it was only fair that I didn't get to shake his hand. But it's gone semi-viral on Twitter and a few news agencies have asked to, uh, to use it. But because one of the things you didn't see was um, he was dropping a line about uh, possibly inciting murder against Donald Trump. So <laughs> I'm not going to let him use it to uh, make him look bad. Good morning and welcome to Glastonbury. I've been very kindly asked by the Evis family to lead this minute's silence. We send our sympathies to everyone affected by the events in London and Manchester and everyone affected in Grenfell Tower. And Jack has Just before we play this next song, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of you for coming to watch us. My eagles of a land, I have achieved. It may be hard for you to stop and believe me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. When the enemies cause so many men in my case, and I love when all people mess with me. Somebody put your drinks in the air because I'm going to have. Here's just the lead. Thank you, 
Good morning. So it's now Saturday and we had quite a late one last night exploring the southeast corner. It never ceases to amaze me the uh, creativity of the uh, places that they've got down there. In front of the pyramid once again. The weather's quite different today. It rained overnight. Morning. <laughs> Doing the morning routine as usual, getting some milk. London. As you can imagine, tens of thousands of people can make a mess, but they've really got it sorted here. You might be able to see on the top of the hill there a line of people with blue bags. They're the recycling crew. You can uh, sign up to join that crew actually. We're speaking to someone on the first day, and um, I think she was saying it was six hour shifts and depending on what you get it could be six in the morning till 12 noon but they've got the pyramid stage area cleaned up quite quickly So just seen Doc Brown at the comedy tent and we're going to try and fly to see Liam Gallagher now. We've got to navigate past West Holtz over to the other stage. Shut up, Tony.
I'm about two years late tonight. I'm sorry. Traffic was a bitch. I, well, I'm a one-way motorway. Well, I'm a road that drives away, follows you back home. I know, he hates the attention. He's so modest and shy. That's Tanner Hawkins on the drum set right there. That's two Queen things already in like the first five songs. Like that's, we obviously love you. I mean, you know, why not? The great thing about Taylor Hawkins is he's got a really tan chest and he sings a Foo Fighters song called Cold Day in the Sun. You gotta hear that song right now. Sunday, the final day. <sighs> Just doing the regular rounds again. And I think our plan is this morning. I mean, last night was amazing. The food fighters were absolutely awesome. But the plan this morning is to have some breakfast quickly and then go for the, to the memorial for Jolly Jock, um, who we saw in previous years. And I've seen back home in our local uh, pub. Um, but then we're going to have to pack away after that, get the stuff back to the car, get back, and then enjoy the day's proceedings. It, everything packed away, leaving no trace on the farm whatsoever. You ready for it? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> over to the car, somewhere over there. So we've just dashed out to the car park. We're going to head back in through the gate now. It was quite a long queue, so fingers crossed it would have gone down. Get invited just about anywhere a second time. So. We usually don't get invited back. So. so thank you very much for being here early and uh you ready to have a good time?
Yeah, that's the coolest DJ box in the world, surely. And that's it. That's the end of Glastonbury for us anyway, for another year. Um, it's been awesome, it really has. Um, I'm not sure if there's one next year, but if there is, we'll try for it. We've made it back to the car. We've absolutely, well, we put the foot down, put it that way. And uh, we've got a hotel about half an hour away, so it's time for a hot shower. Right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.